welcome back to Maura's Sins. A friend of mine asked me if I could take out my drone in the night and take some night aerial shots of his tennis court and tennis club. And I said, why not? I was having in mind two things, the 12 megapixel sensor and the files that I will be coping on, because we wanted to make a really big print, 4 meters in length and 1.5 meter in height. And I accepted the challenge for a really great amount of beer. So me and my Mavic went out to take a beer. I lifted up in the air and framed the carts. I was about 60 to 70 meters off the ground and about 100 meters away. I put the Mavic in tripod mode to make it more stable for longer exposures. Selected the photo mode. Selected the JPEG RAW cause in RAW you will have more room to play in post. Entered the settings selecting the manual mode. Set the ISO on 100 and yeah, you want to keep it as low as you can so you will avoid grainy image. You should dial down the aperture to half a second, second or less, depending on your light night situation. The reflectors of the tennis cart gave me a decent amount of light so I was able to tap focus not having to use the manual focusing. I flew around to take some shots, drink a beer, drink another beer and went home and imported the pictures in Lightroom. Let's start. Start by rising the exposure. After that, rise up the contrast to have a better rendering and remove some noise in the overall image. I lowered the highlight, cause rising the exposure I got a little too shiny image. After that I raised a lot the shadows, to get the image some light in the surroundings of the tennis cart. Lower the blacks to get rid of some noise that appeared after rising the shadows. Rise up the clarity to make the image more crisper. And also I raised up the vibrance and saturation to bring to the tennis cart some color. For my taste of editing I made a slight tone curve. On the HSL menu I made the picture to look more green, favorizing the trees in the surroundings and the Wilson fences. I lowered the yellows for a more orange look of the tennis pavement. On the detail I masked the sharpening and made some slight noise reduction to the image. Finalizing the whole picture with a decent low amount of dehaze, just plus 4. And there you go, the whole big print picture finished in a couple of minutes. There are some other shots that I edited for my friend. And yeah, he picked up this picture that I was editing right now. So concluding, you can make really great prints even out of your Mavic. It's a matter of confidence and some editing in post. And yeah, DJI, if you want to send me your X7 with the DJI Inspire 2, I will be glad to test it in the night, even comparing it with the Mavic. Until the next time, give me a really big thumbs up and also subscribe for more. Have a nice weekend and see you soon.